Hello and welcome to this Excel Tips video. I'm Sumit Bansal from TrumpExcel.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to hide zeros in cells in Excel. Now here I have a data set and you can see there are a couple of cells that have a zero value in it. And in this video I'm going to show you a couple of ways to hide these zeros and one method to remove these zeros. Now, before I show you those methods, let me quickly tell you the difference between hiding a zero and removing a zero. When you hide a zero from a cell, that value is not visible to you, but it's still there in the cell. So if I hide this zero value here, the cell may appear blank, but the value would still be there. So if I'm using these, this range or this cell in any calculation, it would take this cell value as zero. But when I remove this zero, I'm actually deleting the value. So the cell would be blank because there would be nothing in the cell. So if you use it in formulas, this cell would be considered as a blank cell. Now, let me give you the fastest and the best method of hiding zeros in an Excel. It's by using an inbuilt feature in Excel. And this would actually hide all the zeros in the entire worksheet. So this, uh, to apply this method, you first go to the file tab, click on options. And here in Excel options dialog box, click on advanced tab in the left and now scroll down to this option, which is display options for this worksheet. Now you can select what worksheet you want this option to be applied. So it could be uh, any of the worksheets and this will list all the worksheets here. I have two worksheets, but in case you have multiple worksheets, those all those worksheets would be listed here. So you select the one on which you want to hide zeros and then you uncheck this option, which says show a zero in cells that have zero value. And now when I click OK, you can see all the cells that had zero are now blank. Now again, there is the value in the cell. It's just not visible. If you click uh, the cell and you go to the formula bar, you would still be able to see the value, but it is hidden because we have applied that setting. Now, this is a great method. If you want to hide all the zeros in the worksheet works really well, but if you only want to hide it for a specific data set and not the entire worksheet, then you cannot use this method. So let me give you a couple of ways to do this in uh, a data set, but not in the entire worksheet. So here again, I have the same data set. And what I want to do is I want to hide the zero in these cells and only these cells. So I'm going to use conditional formatting where I would first check each cell. And if that cell has a zero in it, then I'm going to hide it. And there are two methods of hiding it. First is by simply changing the font color. So if I make the font color of this zero to white, it would appear that this is not visible. Although it will still be there, it will not be visible. To do uh, that, I would select this entire data set. I would go to the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting, go to Highlight Cell Rules and click on Equal To. This opens the Equal To dialog box. Here I would enter zero. And here I would have to specify the format, but because the format is not there already, I would click on custom format. And this opens the format cells dialog box where I can create my own custom format. So I would click on font here and I would change the font color to white. And now when I click OK, you can see all the cells that had zero are now blank. Now this method works great because the cells background color is also white. But in case it is not white, in case you have something, let's say a gray background color, then these zeros would be visible because essentially we have simply changed the font color. So if this method works well for you, you can use this. Else, let me give you another method. So let me press Control Z and also delete the conditional formatting rule here. And the second method that I'm going to show you is using custom number formatting with conditional formatting. Again, it would assess each of these cells and the cells that have zero in it would get a specific format that would hide the value. So I would select this data set, go to home tab, conditional formatting equal to again here, I would type zero, click here and select custom format from the drop down. And here I would specify a number format and that number format here is going to be something which would hide the content. So I would click on custom and the number format here would be three semicolons. That's it. And now I would click OK and you can see all the zeros are hidden. Now why this works is because in Excel custom formatting has four parts. And by specifying semicolons, I have actually specified that I do not want anything to be visible on the cells on which that formatting is applied. So there are four parts, which is positive, negative, 
zeros and text and these are separated by semicolons so when i have used three semicolons i am saying i do not want anything to appear for positive numbers for negative numbers for zeros or for text so that is the format that is applied but because that format is only applied to those cells that have zero value in it only those cells become invisible and rest of the cells are visible so this is how you can use conditional formatting with custom formatting let me again go back and delete that rule and let me show you a third method of hiding uh, the zero values from the cell. And this time we are going to use custom formatting without using conditional formatting. So in this case, I've selected this data set and I'm going to apply a custom format that would keep the positive, negative text as uh, text values as is, but change the zero values and hide it. And in this case, the format is going to be zero which is for positive numbers i want them to show up as is so which is represented by zero negative numbers i want to show them as uh, uh, as is with a negative sign so i've applied the negative sign here for zero i don't want to show anything so i would leave it blank and for text i want to show the text as is so i'm going to use at the rate which is again uh, the representation for text and i'm going to select this format select this entire data set go to home here i would go to format click on format cells it opens the format cells dialog box you can also get the same dialog box using the keyboard shortcut control one so hold the control key and press the one key and then here within number tab i would click on custom and i would change this and paste the format that i had created and now when i click ok you can see the zeros disappear. The positive number, negative numbers and text would remain the same, but the zeros would not show up because I have specified that for zeros, the custom format is keep it blank. So those zeros are not visible. Again, those zeros are still there in the cells. You can see in the formula bar that zero is still there. So these are uh, four methods that you can use to hide zeros. First is using inbuilt functionality by in going to the Excel options dialog box. Then there were two conditional formatting methods, one by changing the font color and one by using custom formatting. And the fourth one was using custom formatting on the entire data set. Now, let me change the custom formatting so that I have the original data set back here. So I would go to custom and I would change the formatting to general. So I have everything as is as it, it was earlier. And now I'm going to show you a method to remove these zeros. So I'm not going to hide it. I'm actually going to remove all these zeros. Now this could be useful when you get, let's say a data dump from a database and uh, there are no values available, but a lot of databases, instead of giving you an empty cell, they would actually put zero in it. And if you want to delete all these zeros, then this is the method you can use. And this is using find and replace. So we would simply find all the cells that have zero in it and we would delete it. So I would click on the home tab, go to find and select here in editing group click on replace. The keyboard shortcut for this is control H. Now, in this case, I'm going to find zero. So in the find what field, I have zero. In the replace with field, I have nothing. And here I can either use a replace all, but if I do that, it will also change these zero values in numbers such as 200 or 506. So I would click on options and say match entire cell contents. Now, this would make sure that the entire cell content is only zero. So 200 or 506 will not be impacted. Now, I can find all these cells or I can replace all these cells. If I replace all these cells, see what happens. I click on replace all and it makes nine replacement here. So it removes all these cells here. Now, if this is what you want, this works well, but in case you only want to select these cells and then maybe you want to replace it with some other text or maybe you want to change the color, then you can do that as well. So let me press Control Z, bring these back. Now again, I would bring the find and replace dialog box by using the keyboard shortcut Control H. And here I have zero, I will keep everything same, but instead of replace all, I would click on find all. And as soon as I do this, it will give me all the cell address where the value is zero. And I would press control A to select all these cells. So you can see all these cells are selected. Now, once these cells are selected, you can actually either, you can either delete these or you can type something in it or change it. So for example, if I want to change the color of these cells, then I can come here and I can change the color. Or let's say I do not want zero here. I want uh, to write some specific text. Let's say I want to type 
N A, which is not available. So when I type the text, it puts that in the active cell. But if you want this in all the cells, you hold the control key and press the enter key. And that would be entered in all the cells here. Because all these cells are selected, when you press control enter, it puts the value of the active cell in all the selected cells. If you want to delete these, you can hit the delete key and all these would be deleted. So this is a very quick method of finding all the cells that have zero value in it and then removing it. So this is how you can hide zero values in Excel or if you want, you can remove zero values. in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you want to be notified of any new Excel video that I come up with, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you and have a nice day.